Welcome back everybody. Now this is the brand new Shark Stratos vacuum. They say it has the strongest suction and the best pet hair pickup of any vacuum out there. I'm gonna test it out, but I'm gonna focus on that pet hair part because I've got my golden retriever that's never been beaten by a vacuum before. So let's pit the golden retriever versus the shark and see how it stacks up. Before I get started, let's take a look back at the unboxing and the overview and see how that went. All right, this is exactly how it came in one big box like that. Let's see what's inside. All right, it's interesting. On the top of the box itself, we got stuff. Here's the dust brush. Odor neutralizing cartridges. Looks like a crevice attachment. Now we're making progress. Now I do know this is the powered pet roller. Do not throw away, it's a neutralizer cartridge. Now we're getting there. I think this is something important here. All right. Oh, and that's it. I think there's as much packing material as there is vacuum here. This is a lot like the, uh, the Apex that I have. It's very familiar. All right, there are the entire contents of the box. And here is all the packaging from the box. There's a lot. Look at this, a second box arrived with the rest of my stuff. We have the steam mop that came with this, and even if you return it, you get to keep the steam mop. This is the under appliance wand. A multi-angular dust tool, I believe. Looks like a bag for accessories. Not bad. Like a lot of the previous Shark models, you have the handle release here. But I did notice this one does not have a headlight like the Apex I have. Kind of an omission in that respect. Down here is the wand release. Hose release. Dust cup release. The power lift away. We just we have two different kinds of rollers here. Down here we've got the odor neutralizer. Uh, that's also a new feature. It supposedly helps keep the air coming out of the vacuum from smelling bad. My first test is going to test out a couple different things. For that we're going to get some coffee grounds. My favorite vacuum tests. Here's how I'm going to do it. Hiya. So we're gonna see how well it does in the grout here for the crevices, and we're also gonna see how close it can get to this wall right here. And we'll just see what kind of general pickup it can do with this. It's my very first test with the Stratos. Are we on the hard floor setting? Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, the crevice did really well. Let's see how close we can get. Whoa! Well, I've got to say over here, I I'm completely shocked that it got that up. I had very little expectations. I mean, even though it's a shark, I didn't think it was going to be able to do that well. That's a very good first test. Now, the big test for this vacuum for me is going to be for pet hair. And I'm going to get Bailey over here and get some fresh pet hair. Bailey, come on over here. Come here, Bailey. Here she comes. We're getting some fresh Bailey hair to donate for our video. Thank you for donating your hair for the video, Bailey. We're gonna get it all over the floor. There you go, good, get it everywhere. We're gonna get hair everywhere, look at this. So it's a hair party here, all right. We're gonna get hair everywhere. We don't care. Long hair, don't care. It's getting all over me. It's getting all over the floor. It's already all over Bailey. Wow, it's, 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 a, lot of, it's a lot of hair. Now, I normally wouldn't do this where I would just brush her inside and just let her hair go everywhere, but supposedly this vacuum can handle this. So let's see what we got. Let's get the shark and see what happens. Look at this, all over my, all over my foot and everything, my pants, and Bailey's going crazy over here. Smash all this hair in this carpet. Give me that, get the hair. First thing I want to check is how it looks on the rollers underneath. Definitely got some pet hair in there. That's a lot of hair. Look at all that hair. And the rollers. Whoa, they look clean. They look clean. I don't see a single hair stuck in there. Now that is pretty impressive. 
and it did seem to pick up pretty much all the hair that's visible in one pass. So, so far, I'm, I'm kind of impressed by this. We've got more to do, but so far, so good. Walking around on it feels nice. It does feel nice. Another feature that you can supposedly do the powered lift away, take it off and go underneath the tables. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a pretty low clearance too. You can even swivel underneath it too. That's pretty good. Let's see how it does with a couple of problematic things. We got some dog kibble here. That's kind of hard. Got a bunch of cereal. They say that when you pick up cereal like that, it's not going to go flying around like a lot of vacuums will do. Let's see if that's the case. We'll do it here and on a hard floor. Here we go. Oh, it sounds ugly. It sounds ugly. Oh, oh, one flew forward. Oh, we got a little bit left behind. Got a little, got a little bit left behind. Let's go backwards over it. All right, there's what we got inside. It seemed like it had more problems almost with the, the cereal than the kibble. One pass forward and one pass backward. It's all picked up pretty good. Let's try some hard floor and see how it works there. We're in the hard floor setting. Here we go. All right, that's a few. Ooh. That sounded ugly. Interestingly, almost all the ones that are left behind of the cereal were, were the doubles. We got one single and the rest of them are all doubles. That's, I guess the thickness couldn't get underneath there. And it had no problem with the kibble whatsoever. All right, here comes the big test. This is my, I even got my vacuum cam right here. We're gonna be playing a little Golden Retriever Pac-Man. We got Golden Retriever here all the way down. Look at this. Gonna go all the way through the house, collecting as much Golden Retriever hair as we possibly can. All the way down here to the finish line where this camera is gonna be at. Bailey, thank you for your donation to the cause. I appreciate that. L, you didn't really donate much, but thank you for participating anyways. Here we go. Boom. Switch into hard floor. Oh, we're on the home stretch now. We got a little obstacle going on. Uh, we can do it. Almost missed one, we got it. Now let's take a look at the roller and see what happens. Oh, look at this. I'm very impressed. The Shark Stratos has successfully completed the Golden Retriever Pac-Man Challenge. Let's talk about some of the attachments now. Now most attachments are kind of standard, but I did like the, uh, the idea of the under appliance wand, although it seemed like it wasn't perfect. The suction wasn't as strong and it seemed like some larger items got stuck to it rather than inside of it. But I do like the idea of it. The multi-angle dust brush was the one I probably liked the most. It really has a lot of versatility when reaching up high. I did like that one. Let's try the multi-angle dust brush. They say it's good for ceiling fans. I got one right there. Let's try it out. Release the wand. Attach the attachment. The powered lift away is coming off. I think we're ready to rock. It's grabbing onto the fan. I can feel it grabbing onto the fan. It's not just wiping it, it's actually pulling it off there. A lot of these attachments tend to just blow a lot of the dust off. This one I could tell was actually grabbing onto it and pulling it in instead of spreading everywhere. It worked pretty well. It like grabs on up there. It's actually like, I can feel the suction. But the star of the attachment show is the pet tool. Now the pet power brush is similar to the one that came with the Apex, but this one supposedly has a roller that would not get hair tangled around it. I had to test that out and here's how that went. 
I'm gonna try the powered motor brush for pet hair next. Bailey and I were just playing on the couch to get this couch full of hair, so I'll have to show you how that went. Now, supposedly pet hair does not get stuck in this roll either, so we shall see. Right, Bailey? Let me flash back to a few minutes ago. Me and Bailey were getting crazy on the couch here. Try to get as much pet hair as, here as I can. Come on, get up here, get up here. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that went pretty well, obviously. So let's try it out. Lock and load, let's see what happens. I'm gonna start off with this big chunk right here, pet hair, see what happens. Oh, it's loud. It's loud. Oh, wow. First thought is it's kind of loud, but look at this. Pet hair did not get stuck in there. That's, Im that's impressive. Let me do the rest of the couch. So even though this is similar to the powered pet brush that came with the Shark Apex, I would say it's definitely better. And I'm impressed that this roller did not get hair stuck around it. I'm very impressed by that. One of the more unusual tests they show in the infomercial is people sniffing the vacuum while it's running to show how good their odor neutralizer works. Let's try that out. Here we go. All right, well, this is one of those things that your mileage is probably gonna vary on this one. To me, I can kind of smell the, the odor neutralizer good smell, but I can kind of also smell some of the dirt smell as well. Um, it's kind of a mixture of, of the good and the bad. I guess it's better than nothing, but your, your mileage will vary on this one. So the last Shark vacuum that I reviewed was the Apex Zero M, which was in 2019, so three years ago. They've since put out the Vertex, which I did not review, but let's take a look at the two of these compared to each other. We talk about the weight. This one was already kind of heavy at 16 pounds. This is actually a little bit heavier at 17.2. The Stratos is a little bit higher in wattage, 14.16 versus 13.50. Amps are very similar, 11.3, 11.8. The cleaning path is actually about a half inch wider on the Apex at 11 versus 10.63. They both have 30 foot cords, but the dust capacity on the Stratos is much larger, 1.48 cords versus 0.88 cords. The Apex was very good for pet hair, especially at that time, but it was not perfect. It wouldn't really be fair to show a comparison of one that's been used significantly for three years versus a brand new one, but let me show you how the rollers looked after my first pet hair test for the Apex versus my first pet hair test for the Stratos. As you can see, the Stratos had no hair whatsoever. The Apex did have a little. It was much better than the Ion Flex that I compared it to, but it wasn't perfect. I would say the Stratos was about as perfect as I've seen so far. I didn't really get too much into the filtration system, but it does have a completely sealed HEPA system. That is a nice feature, especially when you add in the marginal effect you get from the odor neutralizer. If you're looking for a more technical comparison of the Shark Stratos and other vacuums, I will have a link to the Vacuum Wars channel where they do a pretty good job of that. Let's take a look at some pros and cons of the Shark Stratos. Now, I think a lot of people are gonna be impressed by the Shark Stratos' power how well it gets into crevices, how well it picks up dirt and debris, also how well it does along walls. But to me, the most impressive feature is how well it picks up pet hair without getting the rollers completely tangled with it. That is something that most pet hair owners have struggled with forever. Even the Apex, which is pretty good, was not nearly as good as the Stratos in that respect. And that includes a new pet tool, which also doesn't get hair tangled in it. Now, there are some cons to consider. I, number one, it's kind of heavy. It's even heavier than the Apex. It's over 17 pounds, not, not light. Maybe the biggest con for most people would be the fact that it's 500 bucks. Now, I've seen coupon codes floating around there, maybe knock it down to 450, but it's a pretty steep investment for a vacuum. I don't like the fact that they removed the LED light from the handle from the Apex. That was a great addition the Apex, they should reconsider putting it back on future editions of this one. And as much as I like the underappliance one, I think that, that that has a little bit more work to go on it. I think that it loses suction and it doesn't collect everything underneath there. It's a good idea, but it needs a little bit of work. If you already have an Apex or a Vertex and they're still working, I probably would not shell out extra money for an upgrade for this one. If you are, however, looking for a new vacuum and this is within your price range, I would definitely give the Shark Stratus a look. But if you've used this vacuum, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get over here. Get over here. Good girl. I like how Elle is right there. <laughs> you gonna sit down? Just good girl. You're not gonna sit down. I don't know if I can do it right here. Okay, sit down. Relax. Hmm? She does, but she won't right now. She doesn't want to.